You're watching Cartel TV, I'm Amelia and make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Today we're taking a quick dive into the rugged simplicity of the Toyota Land Cruiser 79 Series Single Cab GXL. This beast is a no-frills powerhouse and a throwback to when cars were as straightforward as a handshake. Launched in 2007, its recent upgrade injects a bit of modernity into its DNA while maintaining that bulletproof engine and reputation that, for some reason, makes it a darling amongst its fans. But before we go ahead with the video, a quick shout out to this video sponsor, the all new Beast Driving Lights by Lightforce. Known for their top-notch Australian-made driving lights, Lightforce's Beast is a game changer with three dynamic modes, along with their sleek design and tough exterior, making it a perfect match for any off-road escapade. Visit lightforce.com for more information. All right, let's shift our focus back to the rugged charm of the Land Cruiser 79. Now let's talk design. The Land Cruiser 79 series has always had that tough as nails look, but the new front lights, they remind me of Iron Man's heart reactor. They look really nice. They are bright, bold and unmissable. The retro-inspired changes, including a square grille and circular LED headlamps, give a nod to its predecessors while making it clear this vehicle is not stuck in the past. It's mostly old school charm with just a few modern elements. The front bonnet is relatively raised, and that's the first indicator that there's a serious engine under here. It's a 4.5 litre turbo diesel V8 engine that churns out 151 kilowatts of power at 3,400 RPM and 430 newton meters from 1,200 to 3,200 RPM. It's paired with a five-speed manual transmission, really sticking to its rugged roots. Fuel consumption is listed at a thirsty 10.7 litres combined. It's a lot, but it comes with a 130 litre fuel tank, which is massive. Great for long journeys. For those of you a little more fuel conscious, there is a 2.4 litre diesel option, and that one comes in an auto. On the road or off it, the Land Cruiser feels like a tank in a tuxedo. It is tough and capable and surprisingly refined for a tank in terms of performance. <laughs> Its part-time 4x4 system and durable live axles ensure you've never left wanting, whether you're on a farm or fording a river. All right, I'll just go into the... Oh, no, no camera. Right. Gosh, this is old school. Oh, oh. oh my lord. No issues, none, none whatsoever. <laughs> it's basic, sure, but I mean, it is exactly what you'd expect and want in a vehicle like this. It's probably not what I would expect and want, but... All right, let's take a peek inside the Land Cruiser 79 series. Now remember, this is not your luxury SUV. Far from it, actually. So adjust your expectations accordingly. First off, we've got the 6.7 inch infotainment screen. It's not exactly a cinema screen, but it gets the job done. Plus it has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so at least it's trying to keep up with the times. And now for the creature comforts. Or lack thereof. You've got two cup holders, which is nice. But if you're looking for a place to rest your elbows on a long drive, you might need to improvise. I mean, maybe bring a pillow or a lunchbox. As for the extra storage space, it's a bit like our TV producer's diet plan. Really not much to it. Busted. <laughs> You've got a bit of room behind the front seats, but don't expect to stash all your worldly possessions there. Look, the most advanced thing I can spot up front, these two USB-C ports. In a car that feels like it's from a bygone era, these ports are like finding a smartphone in a medieval castle. And let's not forget the massive tray behind you. It's like having your own portable backyard. So in summary, this interior is about as basic as it gets. It literally reminds me of my dad's old ute from the 90s, which he loved in the 90s. But hey, you're here for the adventure, not the armrests. Safety-wise, this Land Cruiser has upped its game with lane departure alerts and automatic high beam headlights. But a reversing camera? Nope. And in a vehicle this size, that's like, forgetting your sunscreen and hitting the beach on a 40 degree day. A bit of an oversight. But I will note there are reversing cameras in some of the non-single cab trims. Wow. I guess the biggest safety feature is that you just feel tougher than anything else on the road. 
Priced from $75,600 without on-roads, this GXL single cab will cost you around 85 k I mean, let's face it, Land Cruisers aren't exactly pocket change. But then again, you're not just buying a car, you're buying a piece of Toyota's legacy. And let's be honest, for some, that is worth every penny. To sum it up, the Toyota Land Cruiser 79 Series Single Cab GXL is a testament to the adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's tough, it's reliable, and it has a charm that's hard to find in modern vehicles. It's like your favourite pair of jeans. I mean, they're not the fanciest, but they're just so comfy and so reliable. And for those who love it, there's simply no substitute. Thanks for watching Cartel TV. Now make sure when you're fitting driving lights for your car to check out the new Beast driving lights by Lightforce. And I'm really keen to know, what car would you like us to review next? And leave a comment. What's your favorite snake flavor? I'd love to know. See you next time. <laughs>